Hello, welcome to an overview of Idea's Rapid Sequel. Under Help About, you can see the version that I'm showing, which is the current version, version 17.x. And then from the Idea product page, there's the Rapid Sequel homepage that you can drill down into. So from idea.com, the products drill down has the DB Power Studio homepage. So Rapid Sequel exists as a standalone tool and also part of a, a bundle called Power Studio. So you have access to these resources and then you know, other helpful areas. Uh, there's documentation for all the, product, all the areas in these products. And this is a very you know, tested and proven technology and a big time saver and productivity tool for developers or folks that need to access uh, databases and, and different platforms. So I have a few slides here to introduce and then there's new momentum now with, with these products with a lot of folks working from home and, and the ability to work remotely and connect to your databases is more important than ever. So just a few slides here for, for introducing the product. Uh, so again, this, this recording is about Rapid SQL, uh, a database IDE and productivity tool for building SQL, accessing table data, building store procedures, uh, and then a lot of uh, benefits in terms of uh, time saving and code completion, and, um, code reviews. So, so those are areas throughout the toolbars and the menus that we can look at So building code efficiently, um, dragging and dropping to build SQL and, and the visual query builder is a, a feature that many of us are familiar with and expect in a tool like this. And then more advanced features like stepping into code, debugging code, uh, checking code in and out of version control systems. So these are all areas that Rapid SQL supports across multiple platforms. Here's a list of the latest platforms. You can see some of the Oracle 19, SQL Server 2019, there's even SQL Azure now. So, so a lot of enhancements are added as the database platforms have grown over the years. And then there's different bundles that I mentioned, right? So there's a DBA bundle and developer bundle. Today we'll focus on the developer bundle, which includes a Rapid SQL, DB Optimizer, and Change Manager. Okay, so from the product, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of the user interface. I moved the tabs to the top portion of the screen for myself, so lots of options that you can dive into under Tools Options. The Tools menu is filled with different resources for working on code and, and accessing, and then there's different toolbars as well. So you could you could invoke the Tools to, toolbar menu, and those icons will show. So you, you can turn menus off or on and, and choose your user interface, and that's, that's one of the benefits of the Power Studio products is they're so robust in terms of menus and ways of accessing things through, through icons or toolbars or, or right-click menus. So I'll uncheck the toolbar menu and drive from here. So the starting point is building your connection tree. And so data source, um, register or discover, you have different ways of starting, but register data source, or if you just right click here, register would show you the wizard interface for connecting to the different platforms that Rapid SQL supports. So depending on the platform, the wizard will change. So here's SQL Server, I can click next, and you can see what areas it's looking for. Uh, the host name, right? So for, for SQL Server, for Oracle, you'll look for the SID or the instance, right? So you have flexibility there in terms of the built-in intelligence here that knows what platform you're connecting to and what, what areas of information are needed. And then you can create folders in different ways and then even clone connections. So here, register like would clone a connection and then let you manage or, or create your folders in different ways. So depending on the platform, you can you can explore the navigation tree. So here in, in say SQL Server, I can drill into my databases, drill into my databases, see my object supports there. Um, for Oracle, you might have a schema view, right? So if I wanted to sort by schema and then look at my Oracle tree, uh, you, you have flexibility that way. So for Oracle, some users are familiar with the schema drill down, drill into my schemas, and then I see all my object types that way. So you have options in terms of how you'd like to organize the tree. Uh, and then there's an explorer view, which is a, a subset or a tab that gives you that same navigation. So under data source, new explorer, I can I can open up an explorer tree, and then I could hide or minimize the, the main data source navigator. So explorer is similar, uh, but you, you populate the, the right-hand side tab. So here I could drill into my databases, see my list of databases, right-click there, there's create. A database object right so drill into my database object list here i could highlight my tables right click here and you see lots of actions in terms of creating a table diving into the table data for this this table 
right? Or you can even just double click on a table and then that would open up an additional tab for you. So you have flexibility. Some users might just go right into the data tab for an individual table, take action there. Otherwise, some folks might dive right into the SQL editor and start typing SQL. So you have the new iSQL tab there for, for building SQL or opening up existing SQL scripts and then other wizards for creating objects. So there's the DDL editor, which would open up a wizard interface for creating an object. Here, I could just start typing SQL. And of course, you have color-coded editors and IntelliSense in ways you might expect. But if I just type a single SQL statement and click the green, the blue run arrow, that would execute that, bring back my results tab. And then you can have you know, options in terms of the results, uh, multiple results or individual result tabs. So if I executed multiple statements, I could have multiple result tabs here as well. So here, maybe I'll just type a, some different statements. Let me close these result tabs here. So I'll just right click here, say close all. And so here, if I was to execute, say, multiple statements, then I could have multiple result tabs. So here I could click the run arrow and then I have multiple result tabs. So you have options there. Here's the options icon in terms of, would you like a single window, multiple? So lots of flexibility there just in terms of executing SQL. Um, here, let me go to maybe a more advanced SQL statement. Um, I can run that just to show the, the complexity here. And then here's the execution plan. So that's an icon where you can you view the execution path the database is taking. And then you have different ways of viewing this as well. So. Um, some of this might be getting a little advanced, but just showing some of the, uh, the vibrant visual effects of, of Rapid and DB Artisan uh, really is what brings value and, and makes using the tool uh, so productive. Okay, so here we were typing SQL, right? So if you're familiar enough with, with typing your own SQL, but maybe you're newer to building SQL, right? And so then you have features like the Query Builder. And so under the Tools menu, Query Builder, this would bring back a window with a list of my objects then I could choose a database here and, and then drag and drop objects to it to the white space and build SQL that way so if I was say newer to, to writing SQL uh, this can be a, a visual way to build SQL where you can see the relationships between tables if you have referential integrity in the database and then I could say select additional fields and then it starts building a, a tree view on the left and then the SQL on the lower portion of my screen so uh, depending on how familiar you are with with executing SQL, you know this might be more helpful for some users than others. And then I can just run that with the green run arrow here, bring back a result set, and then you have the similar options for working with your data wherever you have result sets, right? So here I executed SQL in the Query Builder. Right click here, Save As would allow me to save this. Here I had the data tab for an individual table, right click, save as, so from the data tab for an individual table. And then here we were executing SQL, had my results tab. So similar consistent menu, wherever you have a result set, you can save that, uh, there's generate statement options, but you know different ways for, for generating your results set. If you wanted to go to Excel, that's fine. Um, tab delimited, comma delimited, so different ways of executing SQL. And then you have different directories uh, that allow you to save code to uh, save your code in different areas. And projects are, are something that, that might be helpful. So here, just to show opening a project, that can be a tab with the navigator. And this is a way to organize different pieces of code. So lots of robust features like that in terms of organizing your code. And then you have advanced features as well. So if I go back to an explorer, maybe I'll look at some stored procedures. For example, here I can right click here and then there's some advanced fe features, say for stepping into and debugging code, right? So these are all areas that, that benefit the developer user of Rapid SQL. And then, you know, depending on what, uh, what areas uh, you're most interested in, um, there's other utilities, right? So there's, uh, code analysis, here's an import data wizard that can import data from files, or from data in different file formats. You can schedule certain tasks through your Windows Task Scheduler. And then there's also something called the Code Workbench. So these are advanced features for, for folks that develop code and, and write code for applications. Um, so maybe more of developer centric with the Code Analyst, Code Workbench. If you're more of a, a, a business analyst, you have um, the, the query builder, and then import and export data features that, that would be helpful for you. 
So lots of functionality that saves you time uh, connecting and just accessing all the different data sources that we're responsible for now. Um, and then there's there's different resources here in the web for you. So you have utilities. We're, we're starting reoccurring webcasts. So we encourage you to download. You can visit the product site, and then you see you know links here for downloading. So you can download the Rapid SQL executable. It comes with a free free 14 day trial, and then there's also the bundle that would give you some additional products. So maybe just to mention those while we have have the time here together. Uh, DB Optimizer allows you to go further with tuning or optimizing SQL, right? And so we were looking at, say, an execution plan earlier, right? And this is where you, a, a developer that was looking to improve code would, would need to know how to improve the SQL statement to improve the execution plan here. And so a, a tool like the DB Optimizer uh, can, can help with those areas as well. So the DB Optimizer has a SQL editor to execute SQL and then the ability to tune or rewrite that SQL in different ways. So you can generate rewrites uh, and then do comparisons of those rewrites and see how performance was improved through a tuning engine. So there's a tuning engine, the DB Optimizer for the major platforms. And then there's also ways of collecting current running transactions from your application and then perhaps looking closer at that SQL and then even generating load and, and running transactions against your database. So the DB Optimizer is a component in the Rapid SQL uh, bundle called Power Studio Developer Edition. And then another area that's enhanced for the uh, Developer Edition is Change Manager. And so there's in the Rapid SQL, you, you do have some, some visual diff capabilities, right? So you can do side by side comparisons of code, right? Here I could choose, say, a source and target. Um, do a left and right-hand side comparison of code. Uh, but Change Manager is more of a wizard interface that would step you through uh, creating jobs. You have a, a series of, of utilities here for creating a, a configuration archive and then doing a comparison to see if any database changes were occurred. To do a schema comparison or a schema archive and compare it to either a live schema or a, a a historical archive and then more for the developer user is the data comparison job so that's a utility where a developer can step through and, and, and compare data across two different date table date tab, tables of data and then see what matches what didn't match so um, comparing database parameters in a config archive or compare comparing schema schema objects in a schema archive or compare and then data comparison these are areas that are enhanced with the change manager in the Rapid SQL Power Studio Developer Edition. Okay, so again, we, we encourage you to join uh, the future webcasts and share the uh, benefit of Rapid SQL with other users within your company. Um, you benefit from some economies of scale with licensing when you have multiple licenses. And so uh, visit the IDERA homepage and you can benefit from installing and, and, and using Rapid SQL, uh, maybe a little more than you realized with all the functionality that's there for you. Okay, thank you for joining today's presentation. And again, visit idera.com. You have the products drilled down here that we're bringing to the Rapid SQL homepage. You can download for free. Thanks.